Welcome back. We're making money to build another roller coaster to finally complete the requirements of this park. Let's see, how are our sales doing? They're doing good. No mechanic could possibly reach the buffalo herder. Consider moving your mechanics. Or more. Hiring more people. What? They should be able to reach it. Man, what tried? All right, I guess I should probably uh, work on the thing, the line a bit. All right, let's go ahead and fix up this line because it looks like poop. Boom! People should be able to reach it now. That's probably why nobody's been riding it, so let's see if it works now. Come on. Yeah, you're alright, so we got you for bumping the price again. Actually, we're gonna leave it at 70. There we go, so people are actually can ride it now, that's good. We're gaining that cash, so there we go. Thanks to the game warning that I wasn't able to do anything. Alright, so we made quite a bit of money that month. Let's see, shop sales. Food and drink sales. I forgot shop sales are also good here. Wagon wheel, I just had to make emergencies up. Alright, so we're going to go on ahead in here and add another food area. Since we actually have fries. You can get fries here, and only here. One box fries. We're going to offer a dollar for that. Medium box. Get some salt with that. I'll raise that up to 20. The large box, you can get some ketchup and salt. Oops. Should be able to raise that up to $1.50. And you get all three here for a dollar seventy-five. Twenty-five cents more. And look at those awards just rolling in at us. Too bad they're not worth anything right now. So people can get their fries on. Let's go ahead and open up another root beer stall. And let's go on ahead and open up a third bathroom. So people can poop. <laughs> wow, that person has poop. There we go. That's how awesome I am. I know what the hell I'm doing with this game. Alright, let's see. So what was our next requirement for ultimate passing by in this? So we need a minimum length of 1,213.91 feet. If I was looking at the coasters, right? I'm pretty sure that the spinning wild mouse can meet our requirements. So this one that, that I built, the mutant mouse, I think, does not meet the requirements towards uh, this, I think. No, I didn't build that one. I built this one. And this one actually meets the requirements of it, so if I were to build this one, I would win. So, safest park. I just have to stop and make an emergency stop. So it means all I have to do is just build that coaster and I'm basically done with this park. So, let's see. How big is this? Fairly big, but not too big, so we can easily do this. Oh my god, day and night, day and night, day and night. Parks open 24 hours per day! Bring your kids! Never leave because there's a do not enter sign in the way! Boom! All we have to do is open it and we're done. <laughs> I'm not purposely trying to boost through these at all either. It's just that the requirements for this one were so easy to do. Alright, that's been fixed. Good, good, good. And we shall open it with some galaxy troopers. And uh, how much are we charging for it? Of course, it's a coaster, so we're going to have to charge quite a bit more for that. How much are we charging for the other coaster? That's the real question. $3, so it should be the same price. Alright, so. Ah! <laughs> I did it! A new coaster design is available. 
The reason why I'm doing this is that the new coaster designs should help out. Alright, so I zoom down and the track pieces were missing. So we did it! It was that easy. So I guess I'll I will play with this park a bit more. I at least want to make it a little bit more efficient. How much money are we making? I don't want to end it straight away right off the bat. Be like, ooh, I completed it, you know. Let's see. So how much money we're we making per ride? We're actually making shit tons of money off rides, but so let's see, it drops so far. All right, here's the new requirement. I want to have at least over 600 people in the park, so. I'm making up this requirement myself. I don't necessarily have to do it. I could just leave right now if I felt like it. But we, oh, we can't do marketing campaigns. Oh, that sucks. So we're just gonna have to keep improving our park. I I don't know. I think I might go with the 600 thing now. I didn't realize I couldn't go with marketing because marketing is basically how I get people into my park. So I guess we are just gonna have to add another eating area somewhere. Probably somewhere like in between, like right here. Could probably do. Probably sell a couple hats. <laughs> Buy yourself some sunglasses and a western hat. I don't know, I just think I just bumped that up. I should probably think about, uh, other crap. These ones just, will just be cheaper because you had to go further in. <laughs> Alright, root beer stand. Oh god, people are stuck on the puke bucket. I feel sorry for them. And of course we we're always gonna need a pooper. Ah, oh, no, that's an ATM, not not crap, not crapper. There we go, crapper. There we go. Twenty bucks on research. <laughs> they can't believe repaying that one thousand dollar loan was part of the requirement. And I already did it because I was smart enough to get rid of the loan because it's costing me money. So we got tycoon on this one. So we technically completed it, and I could leave right now. Let's see, how much is our park we even worth? Quite a bit, actually. Let's see. I'm pretty sure there we go. That's why I wanted to see theme western theme, and then we had generic, but there's no generic. Alright, foods and drinks. I can just click on this map to go anywhere. Like so. But I'm pretty sure this park is done. This is park number two down within two episodes, which is kind of depressing because how short it was. I was hoping it would be a lot longer, especially since they give us all the space back here. Well, hopefully you all enjoyed this. Thank you all for watching and join me again at another park. See you all until then.